I don't think that the borough of Sussex and Wantage is going to get along. I don't think it's a good idea. I think that they should stay the way they are. New Jersey is a tiny state with a whopping 566 towns. But what happens when two towns way up in the hills, Sussex and Wantage, try to merge to bring that number down to 565? How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom. You know, one of the buzzwords in the ongoing debate over New Jersey's highest in the nation property taxes is consolidation. Bringing towns together, having them share police, fire departments, other services, or just merging all together. The state legislature set up a commission to help towns to do this. Governor John Corzine threatened to cut off state aid to towns who don't merge services. And Governor-elect Chris Christie, just about every time he was asked about his plan for property taxes during the recent campaign, he said, consolidation, shared services. But Christie says he doesn't want the state to push towns too hard to merge. Check out what he said earlier this year. Well, first of all, I would not force consolidation. I think the governor's ham-handed approach to this last year of trying to force consolidation is just another example of the fact that he thinks all wisdom resides in Trenton. What I would do is to try to encourage sharing of services and encourage consolidation. But towns have to make those decisions. I have no idea, for instance, whether Princeton Borough and Princeton Township should merge. I live in Mendham. I have no idea. And I don't expect I'm going to understand that once I go to Trenton. But what I will do is encourage the mayors in all those types of towns to look at sharing services and to look at consolidation and I hope perhaps provide incentives for them to doing it. But if the government provides incentives for doing that, then they have to show us how much they're going to save the taxpayers. And if they don't save that money for the taxpayers, then I want my money back. Hmm, too ham-handed? Maybe not forceful enough. That's what some backers of consolidation are saying after an election last week in the northwest corner of the state. Their voters in Wantage Township turned down a referendum that would have merged their town with the tiny, very tiny borough of Sussex. Now, this merger was seen as one of the easiest to pull off among all the towns in the state. People called it a no-brainer. You have Sussex, a tiny town that broke off from Wantage in the 1890s and now sits completely surrounded by the more rural township. The population is 2,100 people. It's less than a square mile. You blink on your way through town and you miss it. It's a town, fairly densely developed. You have houses on smaller lots with a commercial downtown. Then surrounding it is Wantage. It's huge, 67 square miles, much more rural in character, but with about 10,000 people and a heck of a lot of cows. Now, this was seen as so easy because these two towns already share so much. They send their kids to the same schools. Neither town has a police department, so that's often a sticking point when towns try to merge. A commission that put this whole thing forward estimated that people in Sussex Borough would have saved about $400 to $500 on their property tax bill every year. Wantage, about 50 bucks. And people in Wantage didn't think that was worth it. You don't think it would have saved you money? No, no. No, I wouldn't. I didn't see that much of a money savings, and uh, just didn't make sense to me. What about the, the there's a sort of uh, emotional part of it, too. You have your town, and uh, you're shaking your head yes. So you're, you're... Well, it is. You know, we're, we're, I, I don't like to put stigmas on things and stuff, but I like being in Wantage and, and being the community of Wantage, and it is a whole different type of lifestyle in Sussex, I felt, anyway. You know, uh, socioeconomic. I mean, there's some lovely sections in Sussex too, but I just really appreciated being a Wantage as a separate entity. I live in Wantage, own a business in Sussex. So uh, for me, it was, I would have liked to see it because my taxes are outrageous. And for a small municipality like Sussex to carry a burden in a water plant and things that are designed for much larger communities, for a community that's only less than one square mile. Uh, the tax rate in the water and sewers very, very expensive Sussex. in Sussex. And, but uh, your town where you live voted against it. Yes, they did. Overwhelmingly. Yeah, what are people saying? Why do you talk to people about it? What their feelings are? I think it's... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I, it's, it's, I don't think they wanted to lose their identity as a town for what was perceived as no real benefit. I don't know. This is all pretty typical in New Jersey taxpayers, right? We're all for mergers, we're all for consolidations, but not our town, somebody else's town. 
Sal Lagutata, who served on the Consolidation Commission that put this plan forth, said the failure of the Sussex Wantage merger sure has it looking like the state's going to have to do a lot more and be a lot tougher to overcome that mindset. If, if our two towns of Sussex and Wantage, who have so many things shared and in common already, uh, sharing so many governmental services, their schools are already regionalized, the police departments, the police force that services both towns are the state police. A lot of these obstacles that would be in the way of many other towns that want to consolidate were not present here. If we can't consolidate, I'd see it to be a very difficult process and probably impossible to do it on a voluntary basis unless there were some tremendous fin financial uh, opportunities and gains that could be made by the, by the people in both of the towns that would be considering consolidation. People just don't want big government, big towns. Even though the town would not really have been that much bigger, it would have increased by 10%. Uh, they seem to like local control, even if they have to pay more taxes. So now we have a lot more towns across the state looking at consolidating Princeton Township and Princeton Borough, for example. For now, Sussex is Sussex. Wantage is Wantage. New Jersey still has 566 towns and the nation's highest property taxes. Take it easy, Jersey.